Okay, guys. Um, since my last video, I have gotten a new computer, Windows Vista, and I'm now recording with a different mic. I'm not sure this is gonna sound, and but yeah, but this is a video to show you G Snap, which is like an auto toner, and I'm gonna show you how to get G Snap, put it into your Fruity Loops, and accomplish the T Pain effect. No, you're not going to sound exactly like t Pain, but you just get the effect. There's a big difference. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the link into the, that's in the description right now. You're going to go to Download G-Snap. Um, yeah, you know, save it. Save it wherever. Desktop's faster. Close that. Um, once you get G Snap, you can have this. And if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna have to go to uh, take G Snap. I mean, just extract all the files. It's pretty much the same on Windows XP too. But this, yeah, I hope you can figure out how to extract. If you can't, I'll just find out for you. But it's pretty easy. But into extract, I extract to the desktop for easier. Close that out. And you have these two files. This is G Snap. And go to Start. My computer or computer for Windows Vista. Your hard drive, which is should be local disk C for XP up there. Yeah, for Windows XP, I think it's called local disk C. Um, program files. Image line. FL Studio 8. Plugins. VST and you get to all of these. So you already have G Snap in there, right there. I'm not gonna drag it, but what you're gonna do is gonna take G Snap from your desktop and drag it into this folder now, which I'm not gonna do because it's already there for me. Then you're gonna open up Fruity Loops and okay, let's say I have the voice already. Well, for me, I really do have the voice. I'll tell you right now, guys, my singing sucks. It sounded really horrible. Not even sure it's gonna sound with G Snap because I cannot sing in a high enough pitched voice to get it. But um, what you gonna do is once you get your singing thing, like yeah, you're gonna go to oh the same thing you did to get the G Snaps, except once you get to um FL Studio 8, you can go to Data patches and then you can put it wherever like I put mine in packs and then I go to vocals since it is a vocal you know I can put all my vocals in there and crap but um once you get to this folder you're gonna take your voice sample that you wanna T ping a five effect the five whatever and you're gonna drag it over there make sure you don't replace anything though no. But make sure you don't drag it over anything. I'm gonna hit this reread structure. It's gonna refresh the free loops. Um, you can go to wherever you put it for me. Vocals. It was called SSR for me. And here we go, guys. This is gonna sound really bad. I'm sorry. All I wanna do is eat a honey bun and wash my hands when I'm done. Yeah, if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but. You probably don't want to hear it. This was just terrible. All I want to do is, is eat a honey bun and wash my. Can you gonna drag it? All I want to do is eat a honey bun. Oh, steps you can That's what it's called. Click on it. Click in this upper left corner. Assign free mixer track. Go right here. Here's another part. There. Here's the main part that confused me. I got G Snap in there, and then what you're gonna do is once you go to this, G Snap won't be there normally, or sometimes it won't. I think for most people it won't. So you're gonna go to more and then find G Snap. It should be under VST plugins. Right there. You're gonna make sure that's checked. You're gonna hit re or if it's not there, you're gonna have to refresh it first, and then it should show up. It's a real for refresh button. I mean, yeah, and then you check it after you yeah. Okay. Then you can close that out and then G Snap's over here. Okay. For the T-Pain effect. You set this all the way down to 40, 
this all the way up to 2000 this all the way down to negative 80 this the one uh, set this to 300 set this to 100 percent set this to one and set this to one and then you can um you can save that because I have it over here somewhere yeah presets you can save it as a preset but yeah save preset as and then I have mine as a t-pain effect this preset make sure you change the scale right here too this has to be major over here and this is C for the t-pain effect but G makes it sound better to me but some people like C some people like G I just like G G major G G what does that number mean I don't know I'm not very good with music guys but yeah okay close G snap out and then all I want to do is eat a honey bun and wash my hands when I'm done. You can barely hear it, but it's in there. Again. All I want to do is eat a honey bun and wash my hands when I'm done. You can have the end the most if you guys want to re-listen to that. But, um, yeah. There's also something else you can put on there to give it more of a robot effect called the flangus. The flangus or the flanger? It's the flangus. Hold up. Yeah, it's the flangus. Fruity flangus, it gives like a robot sound. And it also makes the T pain effects stand out a little bit more. So now. All I wanna do is eat a honey bun and wash my hands when I'm done. Pretty cool. But. Yeah, you can also put a compressor on there if it needs to be louder. Change this gain up or down to make it louder or quieter. That's not gonna that's gonna make the overall voice louder, not just the T pain effect. That's the video. Please write and comment. Sorry for not I'm talking fast. Sorry this mic sounds gay. Sorry if you barely hear anything. Sorry for bad quality. <laughs> Whatever, just please rate and comment. Yeah. Peace out guys.